Good morning, everyone. I'm sure many of you are aware that COP26 is currently taking place in Glasgow. It began on October 31st and is running till the 11th of November, so there are still a few days of discussions left. This morning, we would like to bring to your attention some of the biggest stories from the conference so far. At the end of day one, the UK government announced that almost 100 countries had signed up to a deforestation pledge to begin restoring the world's forests by 2030. Leaders representing countries that are home to 85% of the planet's forests, including Brazil, will commit to halt and reverse deforestation by the end of the decade. Ecuador's president announced that his country is expanding the marine reserve around the Galapagos Islands, one of the world's biodiversity jewels, by almost half. India set out a net zero emissions target for 2070, along with a commitment to increase India's renewable energy sources in the country's energy mix by 50% by 2030. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said India was already making considerable efforts to stick to the climate pledges it made in 2015 as part of the Paris Agreement. A total of 40 nations are backing the Glasgow Breakthroughs, a commitment to give developing countries access to the innovation and tools needed to make the shift to net zero carbon emissions. In a first-of-its-kind agreement, South Africa will receive around $8.5 billion from the US and European countries to help it ditch coal, its major power source, and almost 100 countries committed to cutting back emissions of the potent greenhouse gas methane, thought to be responsible for around a third of global average temperature rises since the Industrial Revolution. The nations have agreed to slash methane emissions by 30% by 2030, compared to levels in 2020. The UK's financial institutions and listed companies will be forced to publish their plans on how they will transition to net zero, the Chancellor Rishi Sunak announced last Wednesday. 190 countries and organisations had agreed to end coal-fired power, including major coal countries such as Poland and Vietnam. However, even larger players such as China, India and Australia have not signed up to the deal. The pact will see major economies phasing out coal power in the 2030s and the rest of the world ending use in 2040s. Some 45 governments around the world have pledged urgent action and investment to protect nature and shift more sustainable ways of farming. As the second week of the conference kicked off in Glasgow, the UK government announced it was pledging new funding of £290 million to help countries largely across Asia and the Pacific better prepare for extreme weather and other potential changes. So now you have the facts. And of course, these are all steps in the right direction. And I'm not going to tell you what to think, but I am going to leave you with some questions. Is our government and governments worldwide doing enough to stop climate change? Is what's happening in Glasgow good enough, or is it too little too late? And most importantly, what are you doing to make a difference?